Hi guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and today you join me here at Furnace Lakes. Now it's my first time here today, uh, to be honest, first, first time I've ever come to the venue. It is unbelievable, I just want to turn it around and just give you a sort of guide of what it's like. So you turn up down here, if you can pick it up on the camera, so you actually turn up just down here. And there's a nice shop there, etc, etc. And then you sort of come up, you drive around and people take you to swim, but there's various lakes here. There's so many different lakes and like you say, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, everything is very, very well maintained. Anyway, cut to the point. I am on Kiln Lake today. So I'm gonna turn the camera back on myself. So I'm on, I'm on Kiln Lake today. I think this is what this one's called. So I think there's about 150 odd fish in it. They range from 20 to 40 pound. I, again, I've never fished this complex and I'm, I'm going in a bit blind. I'm with Jason, I'm with Ian as well. So, what I've done is, and again, I can't keep flipping the camera around, so I want to show you exactly what I'm doing. So I'm on this this peg here. So as you come up the hill, um, this is one of the first pegs. So in front of me, this is what water I've got, and the plan of action, or what I've done so far, is I've put um, a rod down here on the margin with about half a kilo of hybrid put over the top of it, um, and crushed up some boilie as well, and just flicked that over the top of that with a little PVA bag, and that is my rod there to the right now the second rod is just over here underneath the willow it's probably about half a rod lengths off the willow because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming most people come in and probably punch it straight underneath the willow every single car so i've actually taken a step back put a little bit of bait over there i'd probably imagine between 150 baits to 200 baits and then over here is my third rod which is a gully which is what Jay said he's fished his peg before there's a gully over here so what I've done is I've probably pro uh, flicked approximately 100 baits over there but scattered them quite wide um, clipped my rod up flicked out there hit the clip pinged it back and I'm sort of fishing in the middle there again with a tiny little bag on so that's it, that's where I am. I'm gonna keep you in the loop today, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and hopefully we get some get some action with some fish on the banks and show you what quality fish are here today. There is some catfish in here as well. They're not my favorite things in the world, but nevertheless, if we do catch a catfish, it'll be good for camera. So uh, we'll get some video of that as well, but I think there's a catfish in here that goes 140 pounds. Yeah, 140 pounds, which is just incredible. But again, just flicking to the back, back to the beginning of what I was saying, first impressions of the fishery, unbelievable. I would, I would class this in my eyes as sort of a premier sort of complex. If you haven't got down here, get down here guys, because I mean, I haven't seen the fishing yet, but the facilities themselves, unbelievable. Right, I'll catch up with you soon, and hopefully we get a fish on the bank. It didn't take long, and I've already had a uh, rhinoceros catfish. <laughs> What's this about? Seven, eight pounds? <laughs> <laughs> I'll slip him back and hopefully catch a carp. <laughs> right, so on a serious note, guys, I just had a catfish then. I don't think it was seven, eight pounds, probably about three or four pounds, to be honest. It was quite a small little tadpole. Lovely, clean, beautiful looking uh, catfish, and uh, I've slipped it back out straight away, flicked a few more boilovers. Well, that was actually the margin rod, the one I mentioned earlier, which was just underneath that tree. And then, like I said, I've probably been an hour, hour and a bit. But there it is. I'll keep you updated. Hopefully, we have a few more, and hopefully, they're carp. If not, nice, nice big uh, 140 pound catfish would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Right, so a quick update, guys. Um, I've had a fish. I've had a common, I think it's about mid mid doubles an hour just woke up to be fair but i've been sat here for about an hour ish and there is fish boshing i can sort of it's pitch black i turn it around there's just nothing you can't see nothing it's pitch 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 black but there is right in the middle channel there's um 
fish jumping up and there's, uh, I've just had a big fish bosh right in front of me here by the willow so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get a nice decent strong sized carp on the bank. See you soon. Bit of a gutted face if I'm honest. About quarter past two, something like that, the rod ripped off around the two-ish mark. Roared off. Picked it up, but it was the one in between the channel over there. So I've obviously given it a bit and just hold it on to the fish. I haven't sort of done, but I've probably pulled a little bit more than I should because I thought, well, if it's going to go one way, I'm going to lose it regardless. So I've got to give it a little bit just to pull it back, just to get it through the thing. So we'll be playing it for about a minute and a half and come off. So a bit gutted, but what I've done is I've turned it around. I've just nicked Ian's bait boat. There's no physical way I'm going to get that back out of there at night because it's such tight in that gully where it's been clipped in the day, it's just not going to happen. All I've done is there, I've just gooed up um, an 18 mil sail boilie with a, a wafter on top of it, which is a signature wafter from Sticky Baits. Again, what you've probably seen in previous videos, I stick to the basics. Little lead on, I've just changed to a tiny little lead now. I think it's only a little one and a half just for the boat I normally use saying a little bit bigger but I'm going to flick that out now hopefully have something on the spot because they're still even now even with playing the fish and sort of putting the putting the bait on then there's fish crashing out there so they're making a lot of noise so hopefully fingers crossed I have another take and land this fish this time right so it's just turned about four o'clock ish now and I've just lost another fish um it did roar off, absolutely roared off, and it was pulling really hard, so it might, it might have been a cat. That was my margin rod again, um, where I had the carp earlier, the last fish I had, but oh, what a pain, what a pain. But one of them, um, fingers crossed, I've put the rod straight back out, I've flicked a few more bait, I've done exactly what I did before, so fingers crossed. Um, I have a fish, they're still, boshing out there though, I can't put that across enough, the fish are just going mental out there, crash bang all up, all across sort of my three spots to be fair, so it's a win-win, so hopefully I have another fish. So there it is, 16.6, uh, I think we said, didn't we? Yep. Lovely common, absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful fish itself, this is the fish I had in the night off the margin rod, so I'm going to slip him back and hopefully we have something else, but real, real clean fish, first impression of the carp in here, unbelievable. Jeez. Yeah. How big, mate? Uh, 24 to PB catfish. PB catfish. <laughs> look at the size of that thing. Have a look down his mouth. And have a look down his. <laughs> you want to mess with him, would you? Uh -huh. You want to put your head. <laughs> Fair play, mate. How big was this one then, Jase? 22.2. Come in early hours this morning, five o'clock. And you lost one as well, mate, ain't you? Yeah, lost one off the margin. Snagged me up. Uh, lost, a, lost a hook hole though, didn't, didn't take the leader with him. Beautiful fish, isn't it? Look at the, shoulders, the tail on the thing. Wow. 
it's going to be a bigger fish when he's older, isn't it? I think so. Here, isn't it? Right down its back. Little, little in down there, but a nice yeah. two moon scales there. Yeah. So now, nah, fair play. Well done, Jase. Cheers. Right, I just thought I'd give a quick update really with what's went on through the night, etc. I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear because I was up throughout the night a lot. So I lost three um, and just had the one and I've had a cat now. So Jace has had lost one and he's had a 22-2 mirror which was beautiful as you've probably seen in the footage prior to this video. Um, and Ian's just caught a 26-5 catfish which is absolutely massive so fair play to him for that. Um, but yeah, what I've done is I've just quickly flipped you around very quickly. Um, there was a fish boshing all morning just over here. It keeps jumping up by the reed, jumping up by the reed. So I've clipped my rod up, flicked it out there, and I've got it about a foot and a half off the reed. It was quite a chuck, but I've managed to do it first time. So hopefully that produces a fish. That's been out there about 10 minutes now. I've topped up the margin again. And I also um, flicked a rod back out here and just refreshed the baits, etc. Just lost a bloody another one. <laughs> just off the reeds, where I said to you, I turned the camera around. Just off the reeds, so where the fish was jumping. I'm going to get the rod out as quick as I can. But just before I throw it out, I just want to show you what I've been having on. That's what's been doing the damage. So an essential sow 15 mil bait with a signature wafter on the top of that, with three baits with raspberry plume over the top of that. Quite a long um, bit of braid with uh, going down to a size six uh, curved shank barbless hook with a distance lead to get the distance because quite a chuck over there and just put the rubber on so I dump the lead every time then a little kicker there to flick it out. So hopefully, I'm going to flick this out, back over on the spot now, over there, and hopefully catch another fish. Only a little one, what was it? 12.9. 12 12.9, 12 um, just off that one across the, what I mentioned earlier, right across that side, about half an hour prior to leaving, it's peeing it down now as well. Oh. I'm slipping back, I think I'm going to be on my way. Cheers. Right then guys, so I think that's about it. I've just packed away all the gear, the tents down, I feel like I've got one last rod out. It's been an absolute brilliant trip here. I've had quite a few fish and obviously lost more fish than I've caught, but that's fishing, eh? Um, so, if you like this video guys, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below and also give us a comment. I will put the, in the description down below as well exactly where the lake is and the website address so you guys can come here and check it out for yourself. Peace out guys, I'll see you soon.